I went on a 10 day cruise across Antarctica to see what I could become if I pushed myself completely out of my comfort zone. And as someone who hates the cold, this was one of the most life changing experiences I've ever had. Next, I have two days to figure out how to fly from Bali to Antarctica and also how to actually get ski, waterproof pants, like all of this gear while living in Bali. So I was asked by a friend of mine to join and travel to Antarctica to be on a cruise ship with some of the biggest entrepreneurs and business owners in the world. First, I didn't even consider it. I was like, I'm here in Asia. I'm not going to freaking Antarctica. I hate the cold. That's why I left the Netherlands, you know, in the first place. I've been interested to become a spy, as some of you guys know, that was my first childhood dream. And I know that Antarctica has a lot of suspicious things. Is the world flat? What's happening there exactly? Why is the top entrepreneurs, business owners in the world meeting in Antarctica? What are we gonna talk about? What's gonna be the class? What will we do there? I am pretty sure it's going to be very life-changing, very interesting. Is it dangerous? Am I doing something dangerous or is it fine? I already booked it anyway, so it can't really change anything anymore. So I'm in my room with Elizabeth. So I'm gonna show you around in our cabin. So you enter here, this is a corridor. And this is Hannah Lee. Also on the cruise. <laughs> okay, then you enter here. This is important. Importanto. Life jacket. And then amazing, pretty big closets, right? Oh yeah, we have a hair dryer. Lint brush. And a safe. This is actually very good to know. We can put our laptops and stuff. And big mirrors. The TV apparently even has cameras to see the map and to see the deck and to see the conference room. You can also check your breakfast, lunch and dinner here and other plants. This is our bed. We are not just roommates, we're bedmates. Mates, basically <laughs> there's like a little space but it's okay i don't cuddle at night so don't, don't worry <laughs> okay <laughs> i like the design though it's very like luxury then a coffee station and then the bathroom here we have some space to put some stuff and a nice mirror some soapy things we have the toilet towels we have two bathrobes which is great and then the shower they said they have a rain shower regular shower and a jet shower at five o'clock we have to put on our swim vest and do like a, a drill a safety drill then tonight when we're asleep i think we're gonna go from the beagle channel to the drake passage well we will see how rough it gets tonight we will let you guys know this is level number seven guys here is a pool jacuzzi oh <laughs> is it hot <laughs> very cold Goodness. This is like a Titanic. I'm going to I'm dying. <laughs> Later we will explore the inside of it now first. I need to get inside. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this is better. Wow. This is so pretty. Super cool. Very, very pretty. Got a freaking baby penguin. Guys, we just literally started going into the Drake Passage. There's definitely some like, this is how it feels like a little bit. I just showered and it was super weird to shower while the waves go like this. So let's see tonight. I hope it's not gonna be too bad. I wanna see if I can show you anything. It's so scary, but it just looks black outside. Like you can't see anything. Oh, the water is coming there. It's not like super scary, but... Ooh. Ooh. Gonna have an early night and do some journaling and enjoy this. Good morning! Wake you up in the Drake Passage. The waves were pretty intense at some point, but I think I slept pretty good. And I think also because my dad has a boat, you know? I'm pretty used to like boats and sleeping on boats. Small gym. Sana is seeing this view. Oh my god. Guys, I feel really seasick. I didn't think I would. I've never had this on small trips, but I feel nauseous and very flustered and headache. I'm gonna take Dutch seasickness tablets. It's gorgeous though. We're rocking sideways and forward and backward. Fuck, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna take this tablet and stop talking. They have outside workout stuff. So cool. And a track. 
from here you can see also the jacuzzi pool is closed for some reason maybe i do run here tomorrow it is freaking freezing i feel stupid where is the person steering this boat where is he sitting oh okay up there how can he see where we go and here are the zodiacs we're going out on these boats on the expedition and a helicopter patch oh my god i definitely want a photo on here oh guys i'm on my way to freaking antarctica in the drake's passage now like i can't even believe it like what the fuck am i doing here from bali you know wow it's the wild magazine right i'm part of women gone wild and ronda also has a magazine and this one is here especially for antarctica i'm happy though that i bought this jacket in the netherlands it's made from gore-tex i'm super warm it's perfect this is my non outside wear today i ordered hot chocolate with whipped cream because that's what me and my family always do when we go somewhere cold even when we go to the beach in netherlands and it's cold always hot chocolate with whipped cream and i'm gonna do a little bit of journaling here i just caught up with the girls looking amazing i'm just scared my spray time will oh, no, mud room where we go and clean our stuff and bring it every time i'm on a mission brought my pencil and my binoculars now going to the top deck to go spot some wheels hopefully so let's see how many wheels we can spot every wheel is 20 points when i'm at 100 points i can have hot chocolate again let's hope we find my name I really want hot chocolate. I should have had a necklace attached to my phone because it's so fucking windy. First, we find a good spot. This is out of the wind, the helicopter patch. Let's do this. Okay, first we take off the lid, open it for maximum binocular powers. Let me see if I can film it for you. Okay, there we go. Okay, it doesn't work guys, I'm very sorry. Nothing so far. I'm the only one here, actually worrying. Nothing yet. Yet? Nothing yet, yet. I can use this as my shield. What is this even? I have to ask. Ah, pro tip, if you do go on a mission to find stuff, make sure you wear gloves because it's fucking cold. So I'm gonna get gloves and continue my mission. Maybe I need to find some support troops. Okay, no wheels today. I don't know, I don't see anything. And this doesn't really help. If you don't see them, you don't see them, I guess. But maybe the professionals disagree, but I did get gloves. This is so much better now. Now I'm not cold at all with my Gore-Tex insulated jacket and these gloves which have touch cream so good from wool i think so let's um go inside now there's a speaker that's coming on that obviously i want to hear we try again another time We went through the Drake Passage and now we reached Antarctica. Today we're already gonna do two zodiac excursions. It means like going in a small zodiac boat, going onto the land. I saw penguins this morning! Literally penguins and I even saw a whale in the distance, the ice blocks. Amazing. Oh, and I have a balaclava. I'm gonna wear that and I have a cute hat. I don't know, I wanna wear it. Let's see. It's very sexy, but I'm wearing obviously bra, underwear, and then merino wool first layer. And also these funny pants. <laughs> Now on top of that we're going to wear these merino wool socks Then this thermal legging which also has feet I don't know if I'm gonna like that but we'll see And then this Gore-Tex pants And then we're going to the mud room to get our parka, life vest and boots Ready! My balaclava lip balm because my bro I can take my lips go dry And this is especially good for freezing weather And my amazing Gore-Tex pants with funny... what's this thing called? I don't know but I'm fucking hot. Ah! Yes! Ready to board Antarctica! Ah! Woohoo, guys! Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, welcome to the Zodiac for the first time as well. My name's Sam, I'm going to be one of your guides, outdoor guides. Insane. Oh my god, they are gorgeous. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Barrientos Island, which is full of penguins, as you can see. This guy's a bit of a late developer. A whale's jawbone. Oh wow. Yeah. It's very, very slippery, guys. This stick is needed. Kendra, how do you feel being here? 
<laughs> so, I said influencers in the wild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <kidnapped> <laughs> oh. I'm here to rob the penguins. I'm gonna steal one. Hello, hello. No, 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 no. Run, run, run. I didn't realize we also wearing the life jacket on the lens. That's kind of cozy. And I should definitely have worn a hat because what is this situation? They said this first expedition. You learn what to bring and what not to bring. So I'm bringing a hat and I'm not bringing these gloves. These gloves are enough. They're from that wool as well. So now I know. Oh wow, look. Excuse me. Oh, you're so great. How do you feel being here? It's so beautiful that we got to be at the end of the earth together. Oh my god. And we only just met in Bali. I know. Where are we going next? Maybe the Bermuda Triangle? Sounds good. Let's see you there. <laughs> Happy International Women's Day from Antarctica! Be unstoppable and stay wild! Before we go on board, we have to clean the shit out of our shoes. There's an iceberg floating onto the ship. It's like Titanic but reverse. We got a hot towel and drinks. Thank you! The sauna with the view of Antarctica. This is from my room, guys. It's insane. Look at that, guys. Jesus. Getting ready for the second one. Yeah. Let's go to my... Mine. Good afternoon. <laughs> We're at Half Moon Island right now. Yeah, they're eating something. Mm -hmm. Hey, mister. Morning, waking up to an iceberg in my window. Another one for the note. So they use Starlink for their internet, and these are the rates. So for 500 megabyte, you pay 45 dollar. One gigabyte, 80 dollar. Five gigabyte, 350 dollar. Everyone getting ready. <laughs> Second expedition of the day. Now we're gonna step foot on. I'm gonna walk this. She's shooting marketing videos with Rhonda here. <laughs> It's so good. We did a long hike today. It was not too intense at all. We have to go down, obviously, but the view is... Look at that. Walking a lot, you're not that cold, just your hands. And this is Julio! Hey! <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm making a vlog. Are you? Yeah, do you Am wanna... I interrupting your vlog? No, no. Do you want to say something? Like, uh, what, what do you do? Why are you here? Okay, so I worked in investments and finance my whole life, and then I woke up. So we got to invest in our planet. It's great to be here again, meeting so many new people that are really interested on purpose. I don't want to be churchy, preachy, weird, but it's a beautiful planet and we got to keep it. We don't have another one. It's the only spaceship we got. I Something love that. like that. I love that. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow, wow. Oh my god, baby. This is amazing. Oh. This is like Penguin City. You know what guys, being here isn't even only about how freaking amazing it is. It's also about the people. You know, there's been some walks where I looked at the nature, but I didn't film because I was just talking and having such good conversations with people. Learning so much about business, spirituality, stewardship, environment, and doing it in a place like this just adds a whole nother layer. And like so many business ideas, so many changes, so many shifts that I already know from this trip, probably in the next years, I'm gonna have multiple seven figures from this. Let's see how far we've gone. Okay, Drake message. Boom, how many islands we've already been through and in between all the eyes, super cool. I'm literally preparing my talk, right, with this view. Focus <laughs> for a few minutes, then I will get dressed. <laughs> Guys, I'm on the program, Jet Van Wijk, with a TED Talk, social conformism and how what we share can drive change. Boom. Yeah, put the hands together. Good morning. It's as if we've been weeks and weeks on this boat and we created our own city. It's really weird feeling. So yesterday was really fun. We did, uh, there was some open mic night and of course many landings on the morning, one afternoon. And I learned that I'm gonna speak today. I'm really excited for it. I wanna make sure that I'm ready. And then this afternoon is my talk. 15 minutes. It will be really good practice for my TEDx talk. If he pressed this button, it would stimulate his pleasure center. <laughs> Giving a talk to going on mission again. <laughs> Love this. Super cool. So the actor didn't get out of the boat, we just stayed inside. So it was very cool. And we saw seals and whales and just amazing eyes, like crazy. And I literally just did a talk, then run upstairs, put on my clothes and got ready for the mission. It's so cool, I love this. It's like you're in the army or you're landing on the moon. It's like, we're gonna do a landing. You have to put on your gear, there's music. You're getting ready for battle. That's really how it feels, it's so cool. So today, I choose you as my husband. The last one. freaking shot of tequila <laughs> oh my god i'm going back into the sauna because i'm fucking freezing but it was so good and i would do it again i was one of the only ones that actually stayed in for a few minutes <laughs> and they had to tell me to get out it was really cool though Okay, we're on the way back and we're into Drake right now and I couldn't sleep because it felt like our boat was like 360 It was really bad in the night. So let's have a look halfway through the Drake passage They said we have around I think it was three to five meters waves So it's still vanilla for the Drake, but for me this is like yeah, it was bad 
We're in the bridge, guys. Woo! Oh my god. How cool is this? Oh my god. But who is driving the boat now? So it's on autopilot. Really? Yeah. Square piece in front of what looks like the iPad with a little dial on it. Yeah. That's the actual autopilot right there. Guys, it's really fucking crazy. And this is the fifth level, guys. Don't forget that. He's here! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! 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 Then there's meaty stuff on this side, always different hot food, this weird stuff, I don't know. It's more really. And here's bread, different meat every day, dessert, fruit. And then over there, every day they make a different pasta for lunch or dinner thing. And of course, there's also ice cream. Okay, guys, last day tonight. We already arrived in the shop at 8 p.m. and tomorrow we leave the boat and it's freaking crazy. I'm going to the mudroom now to pick up my parka and there is Brenda! Who's this? Hi. She's recording my vlog! Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to the mudroom and I think I'm gonna start packing. Very sad to leave. Breakfast pretty similar as lunch, cold cuts, some salad bar stuff. Then on this side the hot food. Again this weird stuff. Don't know what it is. And then of course a lot of bread. And then in the, for breakfast they have pastries. Nice pastries. And then fruit. And of course little yogurts as well. So this specific boat cruise was called stewardship and it's led by insider expedition which is from my really good friends steven and sarah the topic of the boat was stewardship basically how can we some of the world leaders some of the world influential people how can we be stewards of the world and guide and help to create better environment to stop global warming that was kind of the idea and the whole concept is that because of all the talks and conferences that we do that we create a manifesto afterwards with all the things that we will commit to to change or to implement to help the world and help the nature and help the environment so the purpose of this trip was also really cool and it was definitely multiple six seven eight maybe even nine ten figure there were some billionaires on this boat the environment and the people that you surround yourself with are insane the conversations are next level overall it was entertainment it was nature it was the cool military style expeditions that is action which i love the speeches the topics the talks the people it was everything 